In this video, we're going to examine some potential issues that you might encounter when loading some complex models into Vortals. Now we are using this amazing model that has been provided by Paul Tosca. It looks absolutely amazing in Blender. And when we load it into Vortals, it doesn't look too bad. It's a reasonably low poly model, it's incredibly colorful, and the texture work is really amazing. Now when we select this model, and we want to apply a new color image. Now in this case, we're actually going to apply the same color image, but just for argument's sake, we're going to apply this texture. We apply it and we wait a little bit. And once we get this warning, we ignore that warning and we notice that the face has changed. Now this is a, an issue that has been covered in a previous video where there are currently two shaders that have been used in this model. And because there are two shaders, one of these shaders has not been given access and we've simply overwritten the texture that was in this uh, on the face. And the answer to that would be to come back to Blender and select the face, export the face individually and export the body individually and load them into Vortals one by one and then you could access both textures. But if you'd been paying attention you would have noticed that there was a slight delay when we applied that texture. Now that is quite important. So let's now go to our task manager. And in our task manager, let's maximize the memory usage. And you can see that Vortals is currently second in this list. Now if I come back to my color image and we go to round two, and now I apply the same color image, except this is slightly bigger. This is a 4096 by 4096 resolution image, and I apply it. The first thing that happens is Vortals takes a moment to process this. But you'll notice too that Vortals memory usage is skyrocketing. And we're still waiting for Vortals to respond and the memory usage is going up and up. And now it's ready and we're good to go. So Vortals has loaded the texture as we expected, but it is using a lot of memory for using just a simple texture. So what's going on here? Well, if we come back to this model in Blender and we have a look at how this model is actually constructed, you can see that there are a lot of individual models. This model that you're looking at is not one individual mesh. It's made up of many meshes. And you can see that as I select down, there are many, many, many different meshes to choose from. And when you export this, it simply collates it into a group and loads it into Vortals. It may look like one model, and when you use it in Vortals, you'll select it and it will move like one model. But actually, you've imported a whole bunch of individual meshes. And when you apply a new texture, Vortals has to load that texture in to memory for every single individual mesh that you've exported. And that means loading the same texture in time and time again into memory. And that causes this huge blowout in the memory usage of Vortals. In order to minimize your memory usage, it's best to combine everything into one mesh. So here I'm going to select the entire model, I'm going to right click and I'm going to join the meshes together. Now every 3D package will have its own method of doing this, but you can see now that I've combined all of those individual pieces into one single mesh. So with that mesh selected, I'm going to export it and load it into Vortals. And now I've activated the task manager. You can see that Vortals is second on the list. And you can see that the model I've selected, I've deliberately applied a different material, just so that you can see that I am in fact adding a new material onto it. And when I apply my 4K texture, you'll see that the material is applied and Vortals uses a little bit more memory, but nowhere near that huge raise that we had when we were using lots and lots of individual meshes 